Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and survivors all. Welcome to my Minecraft Developer Snapshot Test Drive video. This is for the newest version, 13W16A, released yesterday, April 18th, 2013. So, yeah, I'm a day late and a dollar short. That's the story of my life. However, um, better Nate than Lever, as they say. So here we go. I'm going to give you the full demonstration. But before we take a look at the cool horses, I know everybody wants to see those. We're going to fly right over Rancho de Suarez and take a look at the uh, the carpet first. Um, by the way, you can download this um, at mojang.com. I'll put a link down below. It's the very first snapshot for Minecraft 1.6 update, which will be coming down the pike someday. Um, it's got a brand new launcher, so if you download it and run that launcher, you'll get this snapshot. But just make sure you back up your current worlds and everything. In fact, just rename the folder um, and, and then, uh, just in case something goes sour, you won't lose anything. Okay, back on to the demonstration, or rather test drive. Let's take a look at the carpet. So here we have all of the various uh, colored carpets, and you can craft them using um, colored wool. So it's two blocks of colored wool will yield a single carpet of the same color. And it seems like a really low rate of return. There you go. So two blocks of pink wool, for example, will give me one slice of pink carpet. Um, again, I would imagine that that rate of return is going to be tweaked a bit in the future. I would expect at least two or maybe maybe even three. We'll see. Um, again, this is early in the development of this 1.6, so most likely some of this will change. And there you go. Carpet on the ground, and uh, you just lay it down on top of the surface block. And it just adheres to the top. And you can walk on it nice, nice. It feels great when you're with bare feet. Uh, interestingly enough, whatever the block that the carpet is placed on is actually actually determines the sound when you walk on it. So the sound of the blocks beneath this carpet here is the sound that's carrying through. I don't know if that's by design, if it's going to be that way forever, or if it, they just haven't updated the sound yet. My guess is they just haven't updated. I would expect that the carpet's going to sound exactly like walking on wool, nice and soft and quiet. At least that's what I would do if I were the developer of Minecraft, but I'm not. Okay, uh, let's go over here to the body of water and hop in, because there's one other thing I want to show you before we get to the horses, and this is a respiration enchanted helmet. Now, typically, uh, before 1.6, like if you jump in the water with respiration or without, this is what you see underwater. Not very much. If you put on your respiration helmet in 1.6, you'll get a much clearer view. Very nice. Not as clear as day, but close enough. Okay, now, onto the horsies. Now, you know what would be nice? That water breathing potion. I'm still waiting for the water breathing potion that I can splash on my kitty cats and dogs so they don't drown every time I go uh, for a hike. We'll see. Maybe someday. Okay, horses. Here they are. The rumors. Well, they're not rumors. It's true. Horses have been added to Minecraft 1.6 or will be when the uh, when the game is when the update is officially released. This is something new to Minecraft, but not necessarily to the Minecraft community. There's a, a gentleman called Dr. Zark, and he's um, he's the guy that wrote Mo Creatures. And in my opinion, Mo Creatures is one of the uh, one of the bestest mods available, but certainly one of the oldest. It's been around for a long time. And he's had horses in there um, since almost the beginning. Apparently, he was consulted on this, uh, on implementing them into Minecraft in some shape or form. I don't know the specifics, but I'm glad that he's getting some recognition for his great work with the horses. So here they are. Now we're going to have them in Minecraft. Let's take a look at them. And you'll, apparently you'll find them out in the plains roaming in herds. I have not seen any, but I haven't really done a whole lot of exploring. But I cheated with uh, in, in creative mode and just got the, uh, the egg here and just spawned them like so. And oh, it's a little foal. It's a little gray foal. Skinny little legs. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Um, and when you spawn them this way, you're going to get a random variety um, there's actually, as far as I know, there's only two types here. We've got the regular horse, and then we've got a donkey, or a mule, or whatever the devil that thing is. You'll sometimes get an adult, you'll sometimes get a foal, and, uh, you'll get this various 
um, various colors. Now we've got, what do we have here? My daughter used to ride horses. Let's see if I remember. We've got uh, Appaloosa or Snowflake or something like that. We have a Chestnut, I believe. Um, you are a Pinto, right? And then we've got the little, the, the socks guy, stockings over here, black with stockings. Um, okay. So there's the horsies. Now, when you encounter a horse in the wild, it's going to be wild and you'll need to tame it to become a pet and then you can ride it. And we're going to show you right now how you can do that. First of all, you're going to need a saddle. So let's take a look at how to craft a saddle. So you're going to need a little bit of leather and uh, three iron ingots. So if this is your crafting bench, that's how you would arrange it and you get a horsey saddle. Uh, Let's go in here. These guys are tame. They're already wearing saddles. These guys are all wild. And uh, I can do this in creative mode. Um, essentially, what you want to do is just walk up to your horsey and right-click on it, and you'll hop on it. And if you see the hearts, it's tamed. Wow. Okay, well, this one's apparently extremely friendly. Sometimes they will just toss you right off their back, and you'll have to try again. Uh, by the way, I've seen some videos where people are feeding them wheat the tame you don't have to do that you just need a bare hand if you have anything else in your hand oh that was that guy's tame if you have anything in your hand i was really getting hung up i was feeding these guys a hundred or more wheat and i could not figure out how to tame them you have to have an empty hand to do that empty hand you hop on and then uh, left shift to dismount but right now i'm trying to break this guy it's not really taming this is called breaking a horse and he, he threw me he threw me he doesn't want to get broken yet oh yeah i'm gonna break you but whoa right out of the park nice um, we keep trying until he breaks, and then you'll see the hearts, and then he gives in. He's like, okay, fine. I'll be a mount. And let's see. So he's... It, 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 I don't know if there's any... Uh, oh, there we go. We got him. So I don't know if there's a, a particular range or number of times, but I, I would imagine it's random. Um, a random chance. So now he is tamed, and we're going to put a saddle on him. So we just plop the saddle down. Saddle and bridle. And then we right-click to get back on, and now the horse is rideable and controllable. Just like that, just like you were walking around. And let's see if we can leap out of here. We can actually leap with space bar is just like your regular jump. You can actually jump, and wow, he can leap quite far, in fact. I don't know if there's any difference in speed based on the colors or type or what have you. I haven't really tested it that much, but... Um, oh wait, you know what I want to do? Let's switch into let's switch into survival mode because I want to show you that the horses have health. There in the bottom right, you'll see the hearts. That's the horse's health, which leads me to now let's dismount with a left shift um, right here. Husbandry. Apparently, you can use wheat to breed, heal, and grow. Let's give this guy some wheat and watch him grow. Now this. This kind of brings back memories of Minecraft 2.0 when you overfed the pigs and stuff and they would explode, but not so much with the horses, <laughs> thankfully. I couldn't get them to breed. They just have their mouths open here, but they're not breeding. I've tried wheat. I've tried apples. doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, we can heal them again, so let me... Uh, I hate to hit this guy. It's just awful. But there, he's got a little bit of... See, his health is down some... Let's feed him some wheat, and he's all better. Nice. Okay, now, let's take a look at the lead, or leash. Uh, it's a leash because it works with every animal. Even dogs. Cats, I suppose, too. I don't have a cat here to demonstrate, but all right, let's get him off his butt. Why are you, why are you going after horsey? Okay, here's a bug. Here's a bug. He wants to eat the horse because I punched the horse, and now he believes that the horse is a target of mine. So there's, there's, a, there's a bug. He's not hurting the horse, fortunately. Stop it! Bad. Or did he hurt the horse? No. Okay, so he's not hurting the horse, but he's trying to attack the horse. Here, let's get this lead on the horse. Let's lead him back over here. We're going to put him on a hitching post. So you right-click with your lead, and the horse will follow you. And then if you have... You have to have two... Um, at least two leads in your hand to attach him to a post. So, let's see. If I only had one, for example... Now it's getting dark, isn't it? Let's, let's get daylight back if I uh, right click, whoops, if I right click the lead, falls on, you do get it back by the way, here it is, falls to the ground. Let's 
let's do this if I put a lead on him and I try to attach him to the, the post it won't work you have to have another lead like that there you go let's pick this one up now this guy's getting away I'll put you on there there we go um, as you can see you can use the lead as a leash to attach animals to posts as well it works with all the animals including chickenses now this is going to give me great control over the spies. Come here, you. Ha, ha, ha. Got you now, boy. Stay. Ho, ho, ho. I'll be back for interrogation later. Uh, okay, so there's the leash and lead. Now let's take a look at the barding, a.k.a. horse armor. As you can see, my war horse over here is all decked out in some beautiful diamond armor. And let's hop on his back. I don't see armor represented anywhere. I would imagine it just absorbs damage, mitigates a little bit of damage when he gets hit um, or hurt somehow. But uh, let me show you how to make it. There are three varieties right now, three different material grades. You've got iron, gold, and diamond. And essentially you have, uh, you shape it like this, one wool in the center, and then the, uh, the iron, gold, or diamond are almost surrounding the entire thing like so. And there's your barding and you can place that on your horsies with a right click they have to be tame um one of you is tame oh no you're over here now and right click and isn't that beautiful that's really slick okay hey donkey here's the donkey now i have tamed this donkey he was well he's a mule stubborn as a mule it took me five minutes to tame this bugger but he is now tame and as you'll see here on his buttocks, uh, in the back side, he's got um, he's got a chest here. I cannot access the chest. I wish I could. I opened up my inventory. I don't see any extra space here, so that may not be fully implemented yet. But uh, I've tried shifting and right click. That just puts me up on his back, and then it immediately dismounts. So there's got to be a way. Um, these are going to be some kind of saddlebag. So hopefully, that that's really cool. We'll be able to go off. Um, out on exploration and we'll be able to stuff his saddlebags with goodies and then return back home I'm really looking forward to that so you can actually uh, my guess is you can ride a horse and then um, put a lead on your mule and lead him back and forth to pick stuff up that's pretty awesome all right what else is there oh there's bales of hay so check this out we've got new bales of hay now I couldn't figure out how to craft them. I tried using wheat and string in an assortment of ways, and uh, none of it actually worked, but you can just place these down as a decorative block. I don't think anybody eats them or anything. As you can see here, I just put them um, as decoration, and you can have uh, a couple of different orientations here with them. Pretty cool. Um, again, I don't know how to craft them yet. I don't know if they're even craftable yet. Same goes for the leads. Um, I tried string and iron and a bunch of other things and none of it works. So that's probably just not done yet. And dismount. And there we go. This is once again Minecraft Developer Snapshot 13W16A, April 18th, 2013. And uh, the main addition in this snapshot anyway is the horsey. Did I get everything? I believe so. All right, we're going to call it quits. I hope you all enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. These are your bacon goods. That's what the sign told me. <laughs> everything <laughs> has a place. Mm-hmm. And you put the bucket back in the wrong place. <laughs> are you serious? You knew that? Yeah. Because when I put it in there, I even...